Welcome everyone to Resident Evil 2, the board game's fourth survivor mode. This is going to be exciting. We have different characters and different rules. Let's jump right into things. The first thing that I noticed is, number one, we have a character profile picture on the card with the health bar. The same goes for Tofu as well. But what's more important is that, look, even though the green lines line up with these uh, cards here, in the base game you have 5 HP, but here, Hunk and Tofu have 6 HP. It's only fair. Now what's going on here is we have four places to be. We start in the cesspool, we graduate to the basement, the first floor, and finally the second floor. Now you may notice that there are no enemies placed. That is because this game plays by some different rules. We do not use encounter tables for spawning enemies. We take enemy reference cards, put them into piles, and when we step on a new tile color, we add enemy threat levels that correspond to those colors into the piles. Now, unfortunately, the base game only has threat level 1 and threat level 3, so amber is not going to affect us, nor will blue, which, by the way, is an entirely new color for the map, which is pretty interesting. Now, if I were playing with other expansions, I could add more enemies into the mix and then play around with that business, but I'm not. So, these are threat level 1 cards. Now, what's really scary is when you encounter a colored tile that is not green, you roll the encounter die to see how many of the card you draw spawns. It's awful. Speaking of awful, the tension deck. Now, you may remember that there are 30 green tension cards in the game, but on 4th Survivor Mode, you only play with 20 of them. That's scary. In addition, when we advance a floor, we remove two green cards from the game and then shuffle the tension deck with a discard pile. If we ever completely run out of cards, then remember, this is time-based, the extraction helicopter picks us up, but it leaves without us if we run out of time or tension cards. So this game gets more and more tense. Now as for characters, we have separate characters, separate abilities. Hunk has a wild uh, 8 inventory capacity, which is great, and once per activation, he may re-roll all the dice from an attack roll, providing that he was not using a knife. He doesn't even have a knife on his card, because this is his starting loadout, but or this is what he's capable of holding, I guess, but I suppose in a base game, if you want to play with him, then he would get a knife, I guess. The funny thing is that the 4th Survivor expansion says that you can use these guys in the base game, but they're OP, so use it at your discretion. But in any case, he can reroll one attack per turn, and extra magazines. When he reloads a weapon, you reload it to full instead of however many bullets or whatever the card says. For example, the handgun card says you reload 8 bullets, but nope, you just bring it up to 15 with this game. And as an added bonus, you can roll the encounter die on the umbrella roll or a 1, you get to keep the item. It's like a freebie. It's great. I'm going to be using Hunk. Now, his starting loadout, you're allowed 10 things. I will opt for, well, I have to opt for only 8 of them. I'll get rid of the blue herbs. And the reason for this is that there are two tension cards in the game that have the poison condition when drawn. So if Hunk is poisoned, he's only going to lose 2 HP at maximum per go-through of the tension. This means that he is left with two green herbs, magnum, ammo, shotgun, ammo, handgun, ammo. No knife, but very, very good. Now, if we were playing as Tofu, he would have a knife, two green herbs, and one blue herb. That's it. But he has a little bit of extra ability, too. If he suffers damage, roll the die. Five or six, he does not suffer damage. If he's in danger, he gets an additional evade roll, which means three, which is insane. Hunk has two, which is standard, but three... And run away. If he fails an evade roll, he is pushed instead of enemies. Because, gotta go fast. Tofu needs to get the hell out of there. Now, we're not going to be playing with Tofu, but I, I do get a kick out of this little character model. Look at that thing. It's fantastic. But no, we are going to play with Hunk instead. Mr. Well, not Mr. actually. Dr. Death himself. So he 
will go into the cesspool to start this whole thing out, and boy, does he have an adventure in store for him. Also, no going back. When you leave a tile, you may not return. Just like in the video game, you must go one room after another. You cannot go back for any reason. So, well, I was going to say, don't leave anything behind, but in addition to no enemies, you may have noticed that there are no items at all. What you start with is what you get. Ready? Go. One, two, three, yellow. I mean, surprise, surprise, right? So I draw a modified zombie. It's like a regular zombie, except I can't push him away if I fail a dodge roll. So, four, my goodness. Oh, by the way, as you can see, we're going to be using lots of enemies in this thing. How this works is if we cannot spawn the appropriate number of enemies, remove models from a previous tile, because they're not doing anything. And if there's still not enough enemies, then just spawn what you can. So we spawn these the normal way on the biohazard tiles. So I guess two and two. So Hunk has moved three times. Uh, I'm going to hazard just going forward. And that's my turn. So these guys move, these guys move on me, and I draw one tension card, which is immediately tainted wounds. In a way, this is almost good. Although, now that I think about it, I don't think anything in the game can actually poison me. I guess if I were playing with some expansion monsters, this would be a problem. That said, though, when I draw this card, enemies may inflict poison damage upon attacking. So I guess I can get poisoned after all. That's pretty scary. Not good at all. So I could try evading, which I will need uh, two evades to properly escape. Or I can try rolling attack dice. And I don't have any area of effect attacks, unfortunately. I'm actually going to probably sabotage my playthrough early and try evading, which I failed miserably. Wow. Okay, so... We are poisoned, and I can't even push the damn zombies off. So hey, I got a brilliant idea. Let's try this again. Oh my goodness. Hey, I got a brilliant idea. Let's try pushing these... Uh, that wasn't a roll. I slipped that out of my hand. Let's try pushing these zombies away. Hey, that was uh, that was a bad roll. Let's try pushing these... Uh, hey, that was a bad roll. Let's try pushing these zombies away. Hey, whoa, free for first try every time. Oh, wait a minute. It just occurred to me, by the way. Uh, I'm actually over here. I forgot this area is off limits. So that was uh, three, four. Zombies are on me. Zombies are coming closer. We draw a tension card. All clear. Yeah, sure looks it. Hey, let's try evading these modified zombies. Uh, success, actually. So. One, two, three. I suppose the zombies could theoretically chase me. I just can't go back, but... Whatever. That is a green area. Tension time. Well, <laughs> the zombies are done. They're not chasing me. Green. Okay. So, one. And now we move up to the basement. Two. Hey, guess what? I'm going to take two tension cards and remove them from the game. And I'm going to... Ah, what the hell? I, I, I guess I better kind of shuffle the deck. Whatever, I'll put the camera down. The pain. Now I'm going to have to do this multiple times, too. Go figure. There, shuffled enough. What do you want from me? Okay, so that was two, I suppose. And I am on a yellow tile, so we have... Regular zombie. How many? Four again, damn. And this is a pretty tight squeeze, too. So, let's do two here, right in front of me. And let's do two right in my path. Oof. Bad news. Let's do three. Yeah, I'm going to have to just get hit, I suppose. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to walk right onto the zombies because these guys can't reach me. So these guys get a little bit closer and the zombies on me attack. 
I fail to dodge them, take a point of damage, but I can push them away. Oof. Too much map on this thing. Boom, you're off. Okay. Tension time. Uh, blood curdling hell. Spawn two zombie dogs on the closest biohazard symbol to me. Wow. Just no mercy. Where are my zombie dogs? Okay, there they are. Um, it says on the closest biohazard symbol. Is that on me? Because I'm standing on one. I, I don't think it was. So i got to remember this. Attack, move, open, close the door. Detention phase, the reaction phase. What about when you spawn an enemy, though? Square model limits, enemy reference cards, item cards. I forgot exactly how that worked, because I really don't want the dogs to spawn directly on me. That would be a nuisance. Playing scenario 1A. Tile encounter levels. Okay, do not spawn on me unless that's the only biohazard symbol in the room. This is good. So, let's put them way back there. Okay. That could have been worse. Let's do, uh... One. Two. Three. That's green. And four. They're done. All clear. One, two, three, uh, yellow. And now I spawn zombie dog, of course. So, uh, just one. Closest one. And that was, what was that? One, two, three. Okay, yeah, that was three, so I will move. Uh, let's... How am I gonna do this? I'll, I'll fire, I'll fire my shotgun. Let's do that. Good. One damage. He's dead. And now let's take our shotgun ammo. It starts at five, even though it's at a capacity of seven. Go down to four. Tension card time. Uh, Crimson Thirst. For one round, all enemy attacks do an additional one damage. Scary. Okay, now I guess I will use one green herb. Bloop, bloop. That's one. So let's do uh, two, three, four. All clear. Now I'm just hoping I don't draw the poison card, because that's just going to deal unpreventable damage. Um, yeah, my turn again. One, and this is an amber card, which should up the threat level, but because I don't have any level two monsters, it's just not going to do that. This this fourth survivor mode, I'll admit, is a little half-baked. If I were also playing with B scenario enemies and survival horror enemies, then that would be a different story, I suppose. We have, actually, the dog again. <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> Six dogs. Do I even have six dogs? I have one, two, no, I only have four models. So I'm gonna have to settle for four models. I cannot do more than that. So that was one, two, three, four. And the dogs have a movement of up to two. But you can't put more than four things on a tile, so let's just say I have three dogs on me, and all clear. I hope I can roll an evade of three, probably not, two, nope. So I take one point of damage, but I do push the dogs off. Let's put them all on the upper left area there, one, two, and this is another danger area. This is modified zombie. 
Just one. Get out of here. It is right in front of me, unfortunately. Uh, for three, I'm going to shut the door. And for four, I'm going to fire a shotgun at the zombie. Got him. Jeez, really got him. So, zombie's gone. Shotgun goes down to three shots. There we go. And the dogs do not chase me. That's why I shut the door. All clear. Next. One, two, three, four. All clear. Unbelievable. Next. One, two. Um, first floor. Which side do I start on? I'm trying to get a little bit more focused here. Oh, I see. Okay. Three. And this place is safe. Um, although I do have to shuffle the, the tension deck. So let's do four. I think that was right. Let me see. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Yes, this is where I end my turn. Two green... Well, two. One, two. Those are out. Now i got to shuffle the tension deck again. This is terrifying, and I haven't even gotten to the tougher monsters yet. The bad news is that the only tougher monsters I have are lickers. Very dangerous to fight. I'm not playing with spiders or ivy or anything else, which is kind of a shame. So, my turn. One. Two. And this is still amber, so I draw my last level one card, which is a zombie. <laughs> Six of them, unbelievable. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. So that was one, two. Okay, let's do three, four. They can't all come on my uh, tile, so just three. That'll have to be it. It's the best I can do. Please, no poison? Good. Uh... Roll a level 3 of aid, please. Uh, I actually do, which is unbelievable. So I push all these guys off. That's one action, I suppose. Or, no, no, that's um, my ability to do my action, right? Or I forgot. Well, actually, I forgot. When I roll a vape, do I push them off or do I just get off of their tile? Evade, evade, evade. The tension phase, making an attack. To successfully evade, if an evade roll fails, then you get hit. Mm hmm. Basic attacks. Yeah, but what if I want to just move? An evade roll of the super circle always succeeds. Uh huh. I may push the enemy, but what if it's my turn? That's reaction phase. We're gonna do an action phase. Attack. I don't know. I'll be generous. Let's just say I don't push them off. So. Open. No, oh, I got it. That adds up to three. Uh, okay. Two. This is another threat level one tile. So let's shuffle up these cards. And I'm actually, this may be easy for you to follow, but I'm actually not paying attention to what I'm doing. I'm trying to distract myself. So I really do am not keeping track of this. Uh, regular zombie. Four. Freaking brutal. Uh, and they are all over here. That's a bit of a pickle. So let's do three. And I will shotgun one of them. Successfully. And that was, what was that? One, two, three... Four. Yeah, because I could not possibly move on the tile they were standing on. So, let's go. Oh, that's handgun. 
let's bring the shotgun down to two. And now the zombies all move on top of me. And now we draw a card. Uh, Blood Curdling Hell, two zombie dogs. This is unbelievable. So, two zombie dogs. They go over here. Turn number one. Let's see if I can get off of these things. Uh, I do, actually. One. Turn number two. Let's... Oh, I just realized I was rolling two dice, wasn't I? I was kind of cheating. I, I don't know. Whatever. Pretend I did it successfully. I totally forgot. I'm thinking Topo for some reason. Whatever. Doesn't matter. This game's invalid from the beginning anyway. Let's get off these dogs. Success. Three. Let's get off these dogs. Success. Four. The dogs follow me. The zombies come closer. Actually, I should probably spawn the enemies first, but the tiles aren't next to me, so it's fine. Uh, I spawn... Dogs. Wow, cool. Just the one. Let's put them over here. Um, that was when I came in, so I suppose its turn would involve getting onto my character. So, can I avoid three zombie dogs? Uh, I actually can, unbelievably. So let's push them off. Maybe I should just push them off when I do a regular evade, because that, that seems like it would make sense. But whatever. Oh yeah, the zombies would also go on to me, but they couldn't because all the dogs were on me, so that actually works. Uh, all clear, magically. So, one, two, three, four. Um, this is a red tile, so guess what? We get to add liquor and evolve liquor to the mix. So now I gotta shuffle this business. I can't wait. Who is what and where? I don't know. But this is where things are going to get genuinely awful. This is as bad as it's going to get in this game. But if I were playing with level 4 monsters, it could get even worse. So, we have... A modified zombie. And by a modified zombie, I of course mean... One. Unbelievable. Okay. And he's right in front of me. So that was... One, two, three, four. I think that's the end of my turn. So, the dogs come over here. The zombie walks onto me. Tension. Good. I will... Oh, I'm going to have to evade, because if I shotgun the zombie, the dogs are going to chase me. So let's just do that. Success. You get the hell off of me. Let's do, uh... One. Two, three, four. Uh, unnatural strength. For one round, characters cannot push zombie enemies after failing an evade roll. Well, that's good, because my one round is being taken up by doing this. Three... Four, tension. Good. One, and... Well, actually, it doesn't matter. If it's if it's a green tile, I don't draw anything. If it's anything else, then I draw an enemy card. Uh, we have a regular zombie, magically enough. Two, that's not bad. One, two... The bad news is that they're right in front of me. <clears throat> okay, my turn. I'm just gonna... I'm just going to move. One. Fail. That hurt. Um, I think it was up there, wasn't it? Wasn't it up here? Because I healed, I healed, used the healing potion? Or was it down here? Whatever, I'll put, it, I'll put it in caution. I'll play it safe. So you're off of me. Two, three, four. Um... Yes, and then the zombies chase me, or try. Clear. One, two, three, four. Zombies try. Crimson Thirst. Enemies will do an additional one damage on attack. Don't care. Um, one, this is like largely irrelevant, because even though there are biohazard symbols here, the stairs are right next to me. But let's see what I have. I hope it's a liquor, so I don't have to deal with it. Liquor, hey, this is actually... Well, every time I move, it'll follow me. That's 
a little scary, actually. But we'll do what we can. How many liquors? Oh, boy. Actually, come to think of it, I only have two liquor tokens. So, like, again, if I were playing the Survival Horror expansion, I would have more. But I'm not, so I don't. So, two. And how fast do liquors move? Just one. So I will do... That was... That was my first move? Yeah, I think I'm on move number two. Two. Now I gotta evade to get this guy the hell off. Actually, no, for, no, this is what I saved my magnum ammo for. Magnum, please. Okay, I miss. That's, uh, that's, that's fantastic, actually. So, um, I guess it does two damage. I suppose. So, two. Um... But then I throw it off, right? Even if I... Is that how it works for attacking? Do I push it off after taking damage? Because if I do, then it's over. This is the reaction phase. Attack. If it's successful... Making an action the same square as an enemy. Attacking an enemy in the same square. If it's successful, they don't react. If it's unsuccessful, they make a basic attack which cannot be evaded. Yeah, but if it makes a basic attack, that means I push it off. So, whatever. It's fine. I don't care. Um, that was one, two... That was two actions. And my magnum ammo goes down to five. So my third move action will take me... to the last floor. And this actually is a red tile. So we draw an Evolve Liquor, which has even more HP. Actually, it occurs to me. Oh no, the Magnum would have one-shot the Liquor, but not the Evolve Liquor. So that's bad. And he moves when he hears me move. So let's roll a one. Nope, both Liquors are coming in. Okay, there they are. So now I really must use my Green Herb. Okay. Doop, doop. Now it's their turn, so... Actually, wait, do they have a range attack? Yeah, they have a range of one, so he could just sit there and attack me. You move. You attack. Evade. Good. Uh, tension time. Clear. I will fire the magnum once. I will, for the first time, I'll fire my Magnum. Wow, I hit him. I can't believe it. That's unbelievable. Uh, and he moves closer. So one Liquor suffers three damage. And my Magnum ammo goes down to four. I will now fire my Shotgun at the same Liquor. Got it. My Shotgun ammo goes down to just one. This Liquor's dead. Actually, let me see something, because I attacked an enemy, but there's another enemy in its tile, but does that enemy get stunned, or what? So many things I have to review. It's been a while. If a character... Da, 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 if they were real successful... Making attack... Reaction phase... If there are one or more enemies in the same square, they can only attack one of those enemies. Yeah, I know. If it's successful, resolve any effects. Results are applied only to the target model. Okay. I guess the other liquor tries attacking me then. So that was two turns on my part. Uh, I get hit for one. Just too bad. And now I will fire the magnum at the new liquor, which hits for, for legitimately real. Magnum shots go down to three, and now I fire my final shotgun shell at the liquor, which kills it. So my shotgun ammo is now nil. Tainted wounds. Uh, and I have to go quite a ways to get out of here. If the enemies don't kill me, the poison is almost guaranteed to. Wait, did I... Wait a second. Oh, wait a minute. No, that actually, wait a minute. That might not apply. I didn't get the Tainted Wounds because I forgot to shuffle the, the deck one more time. We'll see what happens this time. 
I'll, I'll draw two tension cards, though, because I did get an all-clear for the liquor, so I'll see if anything extra happens to me. I'm going to put down the camera one more time, because I just never tire of it. So, let's shuffle the tension deck and hope that I get good cards that don't increase the amount of damage that liquors deal to me. That would be a, a real problem. So, let's just draw two cards. Uh, actual all clear, so that liquor is dead with no additional effects, and all clear. And my health is back up to yellow caution. This is decent. Now, action number one, I'm going to reload my shotgun. So it goes all the way to seven shells, and... Okay, my shotgun ammo is gone. I had a good run. Haven't even tried the handgun. So, two, three, four. Vigor Mortis. Choose an enemy that's on my tile. Does a special attack. If there's none, zombie, basic attack. Oh, I can live with that. Zombie, basic attack. Evade. Okay. One. Two. Zombie dog. Two of them. Okay, um, I will move right through them. Three? Actually, no, I won't. I will shotgun them. Okay. Dead. Shotgun goes down to six. Dog runs at me. Evade. Success, actually. Push him out of the room. Uh, actually, I was going to move, but my last action will now be shutting the door. Good. Clear. One, two, three, four. Unnatural strength. Uh, I can't push zombies. One, two, three, four. Uh, it's shuffling time. What a freaking dangerous mode this game has. This is unbelievable. Alright, what am I drawing? Because again, I'm legitimately not paying attention. So I don't know what it's going to be. Uh, a regular liquor. Yikes. Six, meaning two, thank god. So... One, two. So I think I, I expended two actions coming in here. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. No this, no, this is the last thing I do on my turn. Okay, Licker's turn to attack me then. One, this guy attacks. Uh, actually successful evasion. All clear. Uh, Magnum at the Licker. 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 Wow, I first try every time, I'm so lucky. My magnum ammo goes down from 3 to 2, and the liquor only has 3 HP, so he's just dead. The other liquor attacks me because he heard me. Uh, okay, I'm um, hit. And... Second action. 2. That, nah, to hell with it. I'll just fire a magnum again. Got him. Definitely the better decision. Three, four. Tension. Tainted wounds. So this is where I would die. But for the sake of pretending, because I'm already cheating, let's just call it an all clear just so you can see the rest of the map. One. Modified zombie. Uh, two of them. One, two. And I guess I should be in here. Oops. They didn't separate. Okay. Um, that was... One, two, three, four... Oh, no, this is my first action, so one. Okay. Two, three. Uh, shotgun. Got him. Shotgun ammo goes down to five. He comes closer. Tainted wounds. Again, that would have killed me. What bad luck having two cards in a row like that. 
one. And this all is because I got poisoned at the very beginning of the game. It didn't have to be this way. Uh, two. And by the way, this is the first blue tile, so this would be the potential to have a level four threat. We have a zombie dog. And by a zombie dog, I of course mean two zombie dogs. Which could be worse, frankly. One, two, one, two. So one of them is freaking behind me. Um, one, two, three, four. Move. I'm not going to bother having the zombie chase me. It's, uh, he should be, but it's he's not catching up. There. Clear. Get the zombie dog off me. Get the zombie dog off me. Got him. Push. One, two, three, four. Uh, evolve liquor. Scary. Five, meaning two. That's a terrible location. Um, one, two, three, four. Yeah, it's their turn, too. So, liquor number one... Well, liquor one attacks me, liquor two moves in. Uh, legitimate evasion. So, I will do... Oh, tension. Good. Uh, magnum. Oh, wait a minute. Do I have any more magnum ammo? Oh, yeah, this is my last shot. Okay. Magnum. Got one. Next, I'll reload. Okay, magnum rounds are gone. But I have six shots again. My, for my third action, I will fire the liquor. Got him. Down to five. And for my last action, I'll move here. The dogs try chasing me, but it's not happening. Uh, Vigor Mortis. An enemy attacking the same tile. Ah, spawn a zombie on me. Alright. Regular attack. Uh, successful evasion. Uh, no, I can't do that. One, two, three, four. So we still have a little bit of a ways to go here. But this is actually a, a safe tile. It's only two tiles long, so that's good. One. That's it? Yeah, because I'm two tiles away. Um, oh, tension. Clear. One, two, three. Zombie. Three of them. One, two, three. Okay. Let's do... One, two, three. Yeah, I have... I think I'm on my fourth action. I think. Whatever. Uh, shotgun blast. Got one. They heard. They heard. And now it's their turn anyway. So that one attacks me. Successful evasion. Look at that. Wow, unbelievably lucky. Push into the door. That moves. Uh, tension. Action number one, shotgun. There, you got him. Well, 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 such luck. You're out of here. Oh, and I gotta reduce my shotgun ammo by two now. So, three shots left. Uh, two, three, four. Clear. One, two, three, four. Uh, tainted a uh, crimson thirst uh, enemies hurt more and the uh, the special tile is over here so one two I made it on time completely legitimately I beat fourth survivor mode what a hero as you can see though this game really throws enemies at you it's freaking brutal and again if I were playing with more expansions I would have more enemy models to work with so just plain more liquors just just for that and spiders and ivy it's a scary time and I think, oh no, it said don't use mini boss characters. So I could not use min Mr. X's not boss form, but, but still, even the base game had quite the cavalcade of monsters. But we totally legitimately managed to beat fourth survivor mode. But this is, of course, not all that we have in store. There is still EX battle to consider. Until next time, everyone.